hello students uh, how are you all i just hope you all are studying as usual doing justice to every subject uh, today i am back with uh, another new lesson from your textbook the cop and the anthem now the cop is a policeman and the anthem is a kind of music all right which is very soothing jo jise sunkar hame sukoon milta hai acha lagta hai for example we use the word anthem for our national anthem all right so when we are singing our national anthem we stand uh, in a position in attention so similarly that is what an anthem is now why the title we were thinking ki cop and anthem aise kyun aise do alag word liye hain writer ne but then students this writer is very famous for giving twist to his story all right what we think uh, doesn't happen actually happen but something else happens in the story when we feel you know uh, this story is about to end at that very moment this writer he gives another twisted end to the story well the name of the writer is uh, william henry William Henry American writer थे all right उनको सब लोग प्यार से ओ हेनरी कहते थे all right and uh, students as you can see in the second paragraph we there is an important line I'll read it out to describe his style of writing people have often used the term smile with tears which implies his twisted way of thoughts and ending in almost every story this is exactly what i explained to you just now that william henry's stories they have a very unusual way of ending the reader never expects that kind of ending and waisa ye ek alag ending hame padne ko milta hai now uh, coming to the story coming to the lesson have you ever heard of uh, a famous english saying which goes like uh, be careful of what you wish you never know you might just get it i repeat again be careful of what you wish you never know you might get it iska matlab kya hai ki bhagwan se mangte samay bhi soch samajh kar mangna chahiye kya pata kab hame wo cheez mil jaye so agar koi achhi cheez milti hai we are happy but If supposing something that we have spoken in anger, गुस्से में कभी कुछ मांग लेते हैं तो यू नेवर नो दैट माइट जस्ट बिकम ट्रू एंड वी माइट रिपेंट हमें अफसोस करना पड़ सकता है ठीक है ऐसी कोई चीज जो हमें हमने गुस्से में कही है जो हमको नहीं चाहिए लेकिन अगर वो सच हो जाती है हमारा बैड लक एज एन वी आर गोइंग टू रिपेंट तो समथिंग सिमिलर हैपन्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी the name of the main character there is one main character in the story come to the third paragraph i'm going to read the third paragraph his name is sopi he is a vagabond now vagabond aise insaan ko kehte hain jiska koi ghar nahi hota uh, koi kaam dhanda nahi hota bas yahan se wahan yahan se wahan banjaro ke jaise wo ghumta rehta hai he is a vagabond he has a criminal background all right he makes different plans to re enter the prison as he has no shelter to protect himself from the severe winter america mein mausam badalne wala hota hai aur kitni takat thand hoti hai ki wahan raste par jo log rehte hain wo mar hi jayenge thand se they are going to die they will definitely die so sopi makes plans to to go to the prison just imagine a criminal he actually plans not to loot but to do something bad so that he is caught and he goes to prison okay so now when we know that we feel okay the story is going to end like this but that is when the real twist comes and what the twist is i let you know but now just to begin just to give you a just a summary of the story what happens is this sopi as we read just now he uh he just thinks that now in winter time i will have no place to stay so i should do something i should do something 
so bad, so terrible that the cops, cops matlab police, okay, the cops should catch me and they should take me to the prison. Mujhe jail ho jai, aisa kuch mujhe karna chahiye, jisse ki mujhe jail ho jai. To jail mein rahunga, to jail mein rehne se uske bohat saare fayde hoonne wale ke. Yes, you heard me right. He was going to achieve lot of things by staying in the prison. One of the most important thing was food, clothing, shelter. So, so how desperate he is. For his basic needs, he wants to go to prison. He is going to, he is ready to give up his freedom. Alright, just to stay alive. Alright. So what he does is, he has a lot of plans in his mind. First, he takes a nice good bath, tries to wear the cleanest clothes that he has and goes to a very rich, posh locality. And he already has planned what all he's going to order. He's going to order meat. All right, he's going to order some wine. A cigar, मतलब सब ऐसे आराम से वो खाने वाला है और खाके जब बिल पे करने की बारी आने वाली है, he is going to tell them that he does not have money. Obviously, when the manager, restaurant's manager finds out that he does not have money, what is going to happen? Definitely, they are going to throw him into the prison. पुलिस को बुला के इसको शायद जेल हो जाएगी। तो उसका एकदम प्लान पक्का है। अब उसके पास प्लान B भी है। अब समझो ये होटल में समझो उसका प्लान सक्सेसफुल नहीं हुआ तो उसके पास और एक होटल भी है जहाँ पे जाके वो ऐसा कर सकता है वो खुद से सामने से बोलने वाला है कि चलो पुलिस को बुलाओ मेरे पास तो पैसे हैं नहीं ऑलरेडी बट मैन अनफॉर्च्युनेटली फॉर हिम दिस टू प्लान्स आर अनसक्सेसफुल सो ही डस समथिंग so let's begin. The cop and the anthem. Okay. Sophie left his bench and strolled. Strolled, as you can see in the blue column, is to take a walk. Out of the square. Square, matlab ek choraha. Okay? This form char raste jaha par milte hai. The corner, like the choraha. And across the level of asphalt, asphalt is a chemical just like our tar, which is used to make roads. Okay? Sundar sa rasta tha, tar se, tar ka bana hua. Okay? Where Broadway and Fifth Avenue flow together. Broadway ek aisi jaga hai, jaha pe Amir log, okay? Amir log natak dekhne jaate the. Amiro ki jaga bhi. So ye description se pata chalta hai. Students, if you are asked, pick out the lines. Pick out the lines which tell us that Sophie was traveling, Sophie was standing in a very rich locality. So students, this is the sentence where Broadway and Fifth Avenue flow together. Okay. Up Broadway, he turned and stopped at a luxurious cafe. It pohat hi sundar se... बड़े से महंगे वाले एक होटल में वो चला जाता है। सेकेंड पैराग्राफ। सोपी हैड कॉन्फिडेंस इन हिमसेल। फ्रॉम द लोएस्ट बटन ऑफ इस वेस्ट अपवर्ड। क्योंकि ही इस फुल ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस। सो दिस सेंटेंस स्टूडेंट्स शुड टेल्स अस दैट सोपी ये काम जो है, ही इस नॉट डूइंग इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम। ऑलराइट but thand aane wali hoti hai. He is used to doing this. So, look how prepared he was. Next line. He was shaven, coat was trimmed and neat. Black bow had been presented to him by a lady missionary on Thanksgiving day. Uske paas saari cheeze thi, jisse ke wo pohat hi neat, clean lage. Thik hai? He was shaven. So all these lines, students tell us that he was well prepared. अब थैंक्सगिविंग डे क्या है? तो मोस्ट ऑफ़ द कंट्रीज़ में स्टूडेंट्स फोर्थ थर्सडे ऑफ़ नवंबर। इफ़ यू लुक इनटू द ब्लू कॉलम, थैंक्सगिविंग डे का मतलब दिया गया है फोर्थ थर्सडे ऑफ़ नवंबर। मार्क द रिलिजियस ऑब्जर्वेंसेस एंड ट्रेडिशनल मेंस। 
तो नवंबर का ये फोर्थ थर्सडे जो है उस दिन नॉर्मली इट्स अ थैंक्स गिविंग डे तो जिसको भी आप थैंक्स कहना चाहते हैं यू कैन से अ बिग थैंक यू टू दैट पर्सन सो दैट ब्लैक बुक वॉज गिविन टू हिम बाई समबडी इफ ओनली ही कुड रीच इन द रेस्टोरेंट अनसस्पेक्टेड सक्सेस वुड बी हिज अब सब कुछ तैयारी एज इन वॉज ऑल प्रिपेयर ऑल सेट वॉट इज द लास्ट थिंग दैट यू है He just had to reach that particular table. The portion of him that would show about the table would raise no doubt in the waiter's mind. All right. So see, this he was so well dressed. All right. That no doubt would be raised in anybody's mind. अब आगे की चार लाइनों में स्टूडेंट्स दिया गया है कि वो क्या क्या खाने या पीने की सोच रहा है. You can all underline that. I'll read out those words. I read them slowly. See what has he planned? A roasted mallard duck. All right, he is planning to eat meat. Then next line, me dekho a bottle of wine, and then some cheese, a cup of coffee, and a cigar. So ये सारी चीजें हैं students. Amiro Amiro के शौक थे, ठीक है? तो उसने वही सोचा था कि मैं एक Amir के जैसे मैं खाना खाऊँगा. पता नहीं फिर जेल में ये सारी चीजें मिले या ना मिले डेफिनेटली सिगर तो उसको मिलने नहीं वाला था तो ही हैड एक्चुअली प्लान फॉर इट वन डॉलर फॉर द सिगर वुड बी इन राइट सो ही एक्चुअली न्यू कितना व्हाट वाज द कॉस्ट द टोटल वुड नॉट बी सो हाई एज टू कॉल फॉर एनी एक्सट्रीम ऑफ रिवेंज फ्रॉम द कैफे मैनेजमेंट एंड येट द मीट वुड रिवेन फील्ड एंड हैप्पी फॉर द जर्नी टू दिस विंटर आई लाइन ठीक है ही हैड डिसाइडेड कि ठीक है बिल बहुत ज्यादा भी नहीं होगा बहुत कम भी नहीं होगा अप्रोप्रिएट होगा सो दे वुड टेक वट एवर एक्शन डेफिनेटली टेक अगेंस्ट हिम एंड सी स्टूडेंट दर्ड विंटर आईलैंड इज हाईलाइटेड ना वाई इज इज हाईलाइटेड विंटर आईलैंड रिफर्स टू अ प्लेस जहां पे उसका वो प्रिजेंट था जहां पे वो जेल था जहां उस जेल में वो बहुत बार जा चुका था और उस जेल का नाम था ब्लैक वेल आईलैंड ओके द जेल द प्रिजन वॉज ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर आईलैंड ब्लैक वेल मूव अहेड बट एज सोफी सेट फुट इन स्ट्रॉन्ग बोट द हेड वेटर्स आई फल अपॉन स्टार्टर्ड ट्राउजर्स एंड डिकेडेड शूज आई स्पेल अपॉन मतलब लुक केयरफुली कैच अटेंशन ऑल राइट बिकॉज ब्लू कॉलम में दिया गया है कि यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मीनिंग सो आई फिल अपॉन मीन्स लुक केयरफुली और कैच अटेंशन टैटर्ड ट्राउजर्स ट्राउजर मतलब पैंट्स टैटर्ड मतलब जो पुराने थे वेरी ओल्ड ऑल राइट डिकेडेंट शूज फटे हुए तो ऊपर से वो अच्छा लग रहा था कि ये वॉज वेरिंग अ गुड डिसेंट पेर ऑफ शर्ट बो एवरीथिंग बट पैंट वॉज नॉट अप टू द मार्क तो जैसे ही वो रेस्टोरेंट के अंदर गया द हेड वेटर्स आई फेल अपॉन हिम एंड इमीजिएटली दे थ्रू इम आउट ऑफ द दे रिफ्यूज इम एंट्री इन टू द रेस्टोरेंट दे शोड इन द डो आउट साइड then students strong and ready hands turn them outside they turned him and conveyed him in silence his to the side walk all right they took him to the side walk all right एंड उसे कहा से निकाल दिया गया अवर्टेड हिज इग्नोट ऑफ द मेन मेला उसकी जो हरकत थी उसके लिए उसको बहुत ही अजन उसको होटल से बाहर निकाल दिया गया सोपी टर्न ऑफ द ब्रॉडर वो वहां से चला गया निराश होकर चला गया जस्ट इमेजिन ही वॉज अपसेट ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज इज फर्स्ट प्लान बट देन एज आई टोल यू की हैड अनदर प्लान इन इज माइंड it seemed that his route 
to the coveted island was not an easy one matlab pehli baar ek aadmi desperately jail jane ki soch raha hai aur usko lag raha hai ki nahi ye kaam bhi utna aasan nahi hai coveted wahan pe diya gaya hai greatly desire uski khwahish thi and that was his wish some other way of entering the limbo must be devised limbo is a place between the heaven and the hell jahan pe hum insaan rehte hain all right now we live in between the heaven and the hell so he says ki wahan pe pahunchne ke liye mujhe kuch aur abhi sochna padega all right the next paragraph the next paragraph all right on opposite side of the was a restaurant with no great pretensions matlab wahan pe aur ek acha sa ek restaurant tha bahut bada nahi tha pehle jo restaurant mein gaya tha that was quite a posh one this wasn't uh, very posh this wasn't very great but yes it was good one all right it catered to the large appetites and modest purses matlab aam aadmi ke liye tha a middle class level ke liye tha modest purses means middle class people purse is a budget okay Purse is a budget. Its cookery atmosphere or what thick soup and makeery thin. As in, it was the, everything was nice, good. But खाना वाना सब कुछ ठीक ठाक था. It was good. Okay, not very posh, but then okay. Into this place, Sophie betook himself without challenge. But at this hotel, me, he just had no trouble entering this particular restaurant. At the table, he sat. consumed beef steak flapjacks donuts pie so whatever he had been eaten pata nahi kitne din se usne khaya nahi tha okay so jo kuch usko khane ki ichha thi all thing everything he had a full meal and then he told the waiter the fact that the minutest coin and himself were total strangers look at this beautiful line underline this minutest coin matlab paise okay पैसा और वो अजनबी थे मतलब उसके पास कोई भी पैसा कुछ भी नहीं था तो दिस लाइन टेल्स इज दैट ही वाज एब्सोल्युटली विद एम्प्टी पॉकेट्स नाउ गेट बिजी लुक एट हिज कॉन्फिडेंस ऑल अ कॉप यू नो अगेन दिस टेल्स इज दैट ही वाज यूज्ड टू डूइंग दिस एवरी डे ऑल राइट नाउ नो कॉप फॉर यू सेट द वेटर With a voice like butter cake and an eye like a cherry in the Manhattan cocktail. No cop for you. तुम कोई ऐसे ऐसे तुम्हारी और तुम्हें ऐसे पुलिस के पास देकर ऐसे we don't want to get into any kind of uh, trouble and as such. All right. जैसे हमारी यहाँ पर भी होता है कौन पुलिस के झमेले में पड़ेगा? ऐसा शायद इस बेटर ने सोचा रहेगा. तो उसको वो लोग क्या करते हैं? They just pick him up. All right. They just pick him up and again throw him out of the restaurant. Now, next, again he doesn't give up. Okay, he doesn't give up. All right. So he has another plan in his mind. वो आगे जाता है. At the corner of Sixth Avenue, electric lights and cunningly displayed wares, wares are goods. मतलब वो एक मॉल जैसे एक जगह जाता है जहाँ पे बहुत ही सुंदर सा एक शॉप होता है वहाँ पे बहुत से महंगी चीजें रखी होती है बिहाइंड प्लेट ग्लास मेक द शॉप विंडो अट्रैक्टिव सोफी टू कस स्टोन सी ही इज गॉट इज अ क्रिमिनल क्रिमिनल बैकग्राउंड तो ही हैज गॉट लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट आइडियाज क्या कैसे कोई चीज बुरी कर सकती है डिस्ट्रॉय की जा सकती है so students uh, from sophie's character probably we can think and we can understand uh, whether as in we should do good things or we should do bad it is a, every human being has got the capacity all right but then how we utilize this capacity is up to us hum wo hamari jo energy level hai we use it to do something good or bad that is up to us so your sophie has decided as in he, he it is एक बार भी उसके दिमाग में ये बात नहीं आती है चलो मैं कुछ अच्छा करता हूँ जैसे कि मुझे पैसे मिले या फिर रहने के लिए कोई जगह मैं ढूंढ सकता हूँ उस पैसों से बट तो ऐसा वो नहीं सोचता है इन अ वन इन अ पर्टिकुलर वे 
of going to the prison and that is a destructive way all right so here he is taken up a stone dashed it through the glass students i am on the fourth line people came running round the corner a policeman in the lead theek hai aapke log aate hain ki kisne kaach toda aur usme police wala bhi hota hai to dekho next paragraph mein police wala puchta hai where is the man that turned up inquired the officer agitated agitatedly in a very angry manner in a angry manner who has stopped all right thank you that sophie says don't you think that i might have to do something to do with it said sophie with a friendly voice so kya aapko nahi lagta ki maine meri shakal dekh kar ki shayad maine bhi yahi kiya ho policeman refused to accept sophie even as a clue मतलब पुलिस वाला आई थिंक जस्ट रिफ्यूज टू बिलीव बिकॉज पुलिस वाले का एक फंडा था आई थिंक उनका एक ऑब्जर्वेशन था दैट इफ अ क्रिमिनल हैज डन अ क्राइम ही विल नॉट स्टैंड देयर टू सरेंडर ही विल डेफिनेटली रन अवे एब्सोल्युटली रन अवे तो इसके लिए पुलिसमैन रिफ्यूज टू बिलीव सो पी और इंस्टेड पुलिस वाले को बस कुछ दो दो गली छोड़कर आगे फाउंड That there was another man who was trying to run away. और वो पुलिस वाला उस आदमी के पीछे भागा. दिया है देखो fourth line पर. The police policeman saw a man halfway down the block running to catch a car with drawn club. He joined in the pursuit. Sophie, with disgust in his heart, drifted along twice unsuccessfully. ठीक है. So now he has, you know, he decided. That uh, he has, he is going to do something, and who be? I mean, he was unsuccessful, absolutely unsuccessful. All right. So police, the policeman just rushed away to catch somebody else. This को वो भागते हुए उन्होंने पकड़ा. फिर वो restaurant जाता है again. He eats things. All right. And then the police, then the there's a waiter who says, "There's no cop for you. I cannot call a cop because, as I told you." लोग सोचेंगे अगर अरेस्ट seemed now but an elusive dream elusive matlab dur ka ek sapna theek hai it's difficult to something that's difficult to find arrest seemed now but an elusive dream all right the island seemed very far away matlab usko lag raha tha ki kuch bhi karke main to jail matlab shayad nahi ja paunga mujhe ye is thandi mein shayad yahi kahin rehna padega A policeman who stood before a drug store two doors away laughed and walked down the street. कभी एक और एक उसको एक पुलिस वाला दिखाई देता है and there's another you know thought that's come to his mind another plan. We move on to the next paragraph, students. Sophie was seized with sudden fear that some dreadful enchantment had rendered him immune to arrest. Dreadful मतलब terrible. एंटमेंट मतलब कोई जादू पता नहीं कुछ तो ऐसा कुछ भयानक जादू हुआ है जिससे कि उसका जेल जाने का सपना इज गोइंग टू बी अनफुलफिल्ड ही वाज इन अ स्टेट ऑफ पैनिक एक्चुअली वाज वर्ड स्केड व्हाई एम आई सो फाइंडिंग इट सो डिफिकल्ट टू रीच अ प्रिजन जबकि मैं पहले भी ये काम बहुत बार कर चुका हूँ इसी बार एज एन वाई मैं फाइंडिंग इट सो डिफिकल्ट टू डू इट वंस अगेन Okay, he was in a state of panic when he came upon another policeman lounging grandly in front of a glittering theater. उसको कभी और एक पुलिस वाला दिखता है जो वहाँ पे एक थिएटर के बाहर खड़ा है. He caught at the immediate straw of disorderly conduct. मतलब ये उसको एक और एक मौका है कुछ गलत करने का. ठीक है? He caught the immediate straw. Straw, immediate straw means a link. एक इशारा था ये उसके लिए इशारा था कि 
चलो जानबूझ के एज एन आई मस्ट इंटेंशनली डू समथिंग सो दैट आई एम एबल टू कैच द पुलिस मैन अटेंशन ऑन द साइड वॉक सो हू बिगेन टू येल ड्रंक एन गिवरिश at the top of his harsh voice all right he just started shouting like a drunken man all right kuch bhi gibberish is something nonsensical he started shouting loudly he danced he howled he disturbed everybody all right so it's not allowed in foreign countries usually all right they take immediate action so usko laga tha ki chalo ye karke dekh lete hain because already he tried going to restaurant twice was a failure he tried he even tried uh, throwing a stone at a shop at a shop that also was a failure the policeman did not believe him now he thought probably now at least the policeman will believe him and right? the policeman merely twirled his club turned his back to sobhi and remarked to a citizen theek okay? hai policeman ne just look at your look at his bad luck we can say All right. Look at the bad luck. So he's bad luck. He just, he, as in this, pay, this plan also is a failure because policeman just ignores him. And he says, "What does he say? Just these are some college kids. Okay, celebrate. They are celebrating. And we have got instructions that they will not be arrested. Okay, so this is the next three lines. 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 This is the next then yell lads lads are young boys lads are young boys yell is the name of a university they are celebrating the goose egg and they give to the hartford college noisy but no harm they are very noisy but they cause no harm bure nahi hai dil ke bure nahi hai bas celebrate kar rahe hain aur humko instructions hai ki unko bas chhod diya jaye next paragraph disconsolate very unhappy so he stopped his unavailing racket would never a policeman lay hands on him in this fancy the island seamen unattainable arcadia arcadia is kind of a place jo bahut hi sundar sa hai theek hai to kya uske liye bas jail jane ka sapna ek sapna hi reh jayega the students here we don't know how to react whether we should be we should find this line funny or we should feel sad but that is how it is sophi is has again failed in his mission that is the fourth attempt that has failed now next again okay ab wo sochta hai ki chalo main aisa kuch karta hu jo main hamesha karta hu shayad aur wo hai chori so in next paragraph he sees a well dressed man lighting a cigar at a swinging light ek sundar chamkeele dukaan mein ke bahut ek bahut hi acha khasa ek शक्ल से दिखने वाला आदमी एक सुंदर से छाते के साथ खड़ा है ये है लाइटिंग अ सिगार सिगार इज अ सिगरेट ही हैड सेट हिज सिल्क अम्ब्रेला बाय द डोर ऑन एंटरन सो ही सेट इन साइड ग्रैप द अम्ब्रेला एंड सॉन्टर्ड ऑफ विद इट स्लोली ही सॉन्टर्ड इज टू वॉक अवे बस वो वहां पे एक लगा हुआ छाता उठाता है एंड ही जस्ट रन जस्ट वॉक ही डजेंट रन ही डजेंट डू एनीथिंग just walks away with it wo koi aam chhata nahi hai students look at the second line of the same paragraph silk umbrella that was a expensive silk umbrella my umbrella he said sorry oh is it sneer so adding insult to petty larceny all right meri chhata us stranger ne bataya sachhi mein that's what sophie said तो सोपी आराम से बात कर रहा है देखो ही जस्ट हैज नो इश्यूज विद दैट ठीक है एक काम करो ही से सिंस आई हैव ट्राइड टू टेक अवे योर अम्ब्रेला व्हाई डोंट यू कॉल द कॉप्स ओके हैंड मी ओवर टू द कॉप्स मुझे पुलिस के हवाले कर दो ही इज एक्चुअली रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल राइट श्योर बट देन लेट्स लुक इन द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ फॉर अनदर सरप्राइज द अम्ब्रेला ओनर स्लोड हिज स्टेप सोपी डिड लाइकवाइज With a premonition, premonition, blue column में देखो, a strong feeling that something is going to happen that is unpleasant, कुछ unholy होने वाली है, ठीक है? That's premonition, unholy का इशारा. So he did likewise. 
with the premonition that luck would again run against him. As in यहाँ पे शायद सोपी को पता चल जाता है ये कुछ तो मतलब अनहोनी होने वाली है ठीक है जेल ना जाना उसके लिए एक अनहोनी है Of course, said the umbrella man. Well, you know how these mistakes occur if it's your umbrella. तो झट से वो जो छाते वाला आदमी है he says, अच्छा अच्छा शायद हो सकता है maybe it's your umbrella. Maybe I had picked it by mistake. But you take it away. ऐसा वो stranger कहता है अब शायद उस स्ट्रेंजर ने ऐसा क्यों कहा होगा ठीक है लेट्स रीड यू सी ही इज रेडी टू गिव दैट अम्ब्रेला टू सोपी आई रीड द लास्ट पैराग्राफ अगेन वेल यू नो हाउ दीज मिस्टेक्स अकर इफ इट्स योर अम्ब्रेला ठीक है शायद हाँ शायद तुम्हारी अम्ब्रेला है तुम्हारा ही चाहता है मैंने गलती से उठाया वो कौन कह रहा है वो अम्ब्रेला मैन वो स्ट्रेंजर कह रहा है आई होप यू विल एक्सक्यूज यू I picked it up this morning in a restaurant, and if you recognize it as yours, why I hope you will. अगर तुम्हें लगता है कि तुम्हारा छाता है, तुम ही रख लो. मैंने शायद गलती से उठाया था. ऐसा कहें कि that umbrella man is ready to give that umbrella to Sophie. So you know this is another twist. So with this, we come to know that probably that umbrella man is also a thief. He is also a thief. Just Like our soapy, that is why he is ready to give that soap. Uh, give so I am sorry, ready to give that umbrella to the to soapy. All right. Otherwise, who will give? Uh, as in, would we give our things to anybody else? We would not. All right. We would never give our things to anybody else. The next page. Of course, it's mine," said soapy savagely. The ex umbrella man retreated. Okay, वो चला जाता है द पुलिस मैन हरी टू असिस्ट अटॉल ब्लॉन्ड ब्लॉन्ड इज अडी इन एन ऑपरा क्लोक अक्रॉस स्ट्रीट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द स्ट्रीट कार दैट वॉज अप्रोचिंग टू ब्लॉक्स अवे वॉज अ पुलिस मैन क्लोज बाइट और शायद यही देख के वो अम्ब्रेला मैन शायद डर गया होगा क्योंकि वो खुद एक चोर था ठीक है तो चुपचाप बिना कुछ कोई झगड़ा किए वो सोपी को कहता है कि ठीक है अगर तुम्हारा छाता है रख लो मैंने ही शायद गलती से उठाया था सोपी वॉक ईस्टवर्ड थ्रू अ स्ट्रीट डैमेज बाय इम्प्रूवमेंट और स्ट्रीट टिल नाउ ही वॉज मूविंग इन अ वेरी पॉश एरिया अब वो ऐसी जगह जा रहा है जहां वो जो इतना कुछ पॉश नहीं था मतलब मिडिल क्लास लोग का एरिया शायद Probably he had come to that particular area where the middle class people lived. He hurled the umbrella angrily into an excavation. He was so angry that just imagine an expensive umbrella. He just threw it away. Hurled is to throw. He just threw the umbrella into an excavation. जहाँ पे कोई कुछ काम चल रहा था, वहाँ पे जहाँ पे कचरा पड़ा था, वहाँ पे वो फेंक देता है. He muttered against the men who wear helmets and carry clubs. Okay, he muttered. Muttered is to speak in a slow voice. Okay, जब हम अपने आप से मन ही मन में बात करते हैं, that is muttered. All right, muttered against the men who wear helmets and carry clubs. Club is a stick जो पुलिस वालों के पास होता है. उसने in short he spoke bad things about the policemen. Because he was like, why am I just not able to go into the prison when I want to go there desperately? They seem to regard him as the king who could do no wrong. ठीक है उसको लगता है कि ये सारी पुलिस वालों को ऐसा लगता है कि मैं कोई राजा हूँ और शायद मैं कभी कुछ गलत कर ही नहीं सकता. All right, the next paragraph. At length, Sophie reached one of the avenues to the east. Where glitter and turmoil was, but bit faint. Turmoil is kind of disturbance. मतलब वो एक ऐसी जगह आया था जहाँ पे कोई शानो शौकत नहीं थी. It was quite a very uh, peaceful place. All right, he dragged himself towards Madison Square. This was the place जहाँ पे वो हमेशा अक्सर रुकता था. ये उसका घर था. So imagine we can, you know, this is something which tells us about his condition. All right. He stayed on a road. He lived on a street. But on an unusually quiet corner, Sophie came to a standstill. 
all right wahan pe wo ek corner pe is stopped and students now here is the turning point of the story he has already made so many attempts to you know uh, so that he goes into the prison they were all unsuccessful and now he has come to a place where he sees a church there's an old church quaint rambling gallery as a new church it is uh which is like quite big all okay? right he is probably familiar with that church he is go church pata hai through one violet stained window a soft light glowed there no doubt the organist loitered over the keys making sure of his mastery of the coming sabbath anthem so church ke khidki se kya sunai diya ki koi wahan pe piano okay keyboard baja raha hai and what was that person playing on the keyboard he was playing a prayer an anthem a peaceful music i told you student anthem is a peaceful music all right for that drifted out of sophie's ears sweet music that caught and held him transfixed against the convulsions of the iron iron fence all right he was extremely uh, he was that music caught his ears all right and uh, that music was something very different uh, he at uh, that music actually took him to his past memories he remembered his childhood he remembered the time when he would visit the church with his family the sweet time of his childhood so students uh, normally uh, all these criminal they never do it they never do a crime they never commit a crime out of intention janboosh ke koi kuch nahi karta hai they are probably they just want to it was it's a bad time it's a matter of bad time that they have done something wrong all right and similarly here also from sophie's experience we come to know that probably sophie is not that bad all right he it's just that circumstances have made him terrible so this music has taken the music that is coming from the church all right that has taken him back to his memories the moon was full and radiant vehicles vehicles and pedestrians vehicles and pedestrians pedestrians are people who walk on the road vehicles and pedestrians were few sparrows twittered sleepily in the eaves or a little while the scene might have been a country church as in all this music is taking him back as i told you back to his memories back to his Pass. See, they have taken in things as mothers. Look at the last two lines. All right. Uh, for he had known it well in the days when his life contained such things as mothers, roses, ambitions, friends, immaculate thoughts, and colors. Immaculate students, perfectly clean. You know, clear thoughts. He was very perfect. he belong to a very perfect family normal family like yours and mine all right that was how it was so we don't know what exactly changed sophie's life but you know somehow that music had some kind of magic sophie actually went back to his past he remembered you can underline these lines okay it reminded him of his mother of roses of ambition of friends of clean thoughts and colors the colors means clothes all right everything was just so perfect the conjunction of sophie's receptive state of mind and the influences about the old church brought a sudden and wonderful change in his soul all right the music sunke shayad usko laga ki maine apni zindagi waste kar di hai i have wasted my life doing all the bad things he was not very old all right he was not very old he could do he, if he had thought he could have got some job he could have worked he could have saved money and he could have got a decent house to stay but then probably you know know why he got into such bad habits all right so here again so these views took him back to his past took him back to his childhood 
and then he actually started thinking why exactly did i do this wrong as in what made me do this wrong all right he viewed with rising horror the pit into which he had tumbled the pit is a bad actions the wrong actions the wrong company all right students so now we are into present but sophie has drifted back into his past and he is thinking ki kaise kaise main is burai ke chakravyu mein main fas gaya tha how did i get up get stuck in this kind of bad big bad world all right he viewed with rising horror the pit into which he had tumbled the degraded days unworthy desires unworthy desires are desire are wrong desires which we should not you know ever think of dead hopes wrecked faculties base motives all right yahi uski zindagi thi theek hai jo jaisa aa raha hai wo karo ठीक से मिल रहा है ठीक है अदरवाइज कुछ गलत करके उसको हासिल कर लो बस यही की उसकी जिंदगी दिस वॉज वॉट इज लाइफ ऑल अबाउट एंड ऑल्सो इन अ मोमेंट दिस हार्ट रिस्पॉन्डेड थ्रिलिंगली टू दिस चेंज मोड सम हाउ दे वॉज अ चेंज इन इज हार्ट एंड आई दे वॉज अ वेरी बिग चेंज इन इज हार्ट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इम्पल्स ओके अम्पल्स इज अ थॉट A strong impulse moved him to go on to the next stage. We are here on the next stage. Okay. Okay. He would pull himself out of the mire. Mire here is a really unpleasant. सिचुएशन वो वो सोच रहा है कि नहीं मैं इससे बाहर निकल सकता हूँ आई एम गोइंग टू मूव आउट ऑफ दिस पिट और राइट दिस ट्रबल्स और राइट एंड ही हैज डिसाइडेड दैट आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट आई विल मेक अ मैन ऑफ माई सेल्फ अगेन वो कह रहा है कि मैं खुद से एज एन आई एम गोइंग टू बिकम अ मैन मीन्स अ गुड ह्यूमन बींग Here the word man means a good human being, a अच्छा इंसान बन के रहने का. He would conquer the evil that had enslaved him. He would बुराई की दुनिया बस छोड़ दूँगा. चल, alright. There was a time. He was there was time. He was young. इसके अभी भी उसके पास ज़िंदगी बाकी थी. He would resurrect his old eager ambitions. Resurrect is restore. He can restore. He was. He will think about his old ambitions, pursue them. He is going to follow them without faltering, without failing, without stopping. He is going to look at into his old ambitions. जो उसकी अधूरी जो एक तमन्ना थी, ख्वाहिश थी. He is going to look into all of them. He is going to follow his dreams. Which means, students, here this Sophie, who some time back spent all his time. getting into the prison somewhere he had realized no whatever i was thinking of was evil bura tha and i should not think of that and instead i should share i should put in spend all my energy into doing something that would make me a human being again all right those solemn but sweet organ notes organ here is the keyboard all right the musical instrument Sweet organ notes had set up a revolution in him. एक बहुत ही एक जो जो change कोई इंसान नहीं कर पाया, कोई जेल नहीं कर पाया, और वही एक ऐसा change आ गया था सोपी में, right? And he was all set, all charged to bring about a change. He was ready to do something. Could with his life, okay? That means, if I have some good things in life, I will do something good. Tomorrow, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring downtown district and find work. Okay, he would go into the roaring down Fur import of fur is the uh, kind of skin 
of uh, from animals all right the sheep the sheep gives us fur so that's the fur this is sweater banta hai so fur importer had once offered him a place as driver ek bar usse kisi ne ek naukri di bhi thi dekho but mehnat karna chhod kar usko laga tha ye chori karna hi aasan hai theek hai so now he thought let me just go again and just check for myself if i can get that job and i would do something i want to do something that is what he is thinking all right he would somebody he would be somebody in the world he would he would so yahan pe uski soch jo hai wo ruk jati hai ya fir he stops he stops because something is wrong and what is ha what has happened what has happened so he felt a hand laid on oh, no. him all right somebody has kept a heavy arm on his shoulder he looked quickly around into the impassive face of a policeman wo piche mud kar dekhta hai all right when he's lost in his thoughts wo church ke yahan pe shayad bahut time rukta hai as in he doesn't even come to know uh, how long has he waited over there all right but tabhi his thoughts are broken by somebody who's placed his hand on his shoulder All right, and who's that? That person is a policeman. His face is impassive, means without any feelings. What are you doing here? Asked the officer. Nothing, said Soapy. No, I am not doing anything. He said. Then come along, said the policeman. Come along, he was in police. Here, see. Now, when he was speaking the truth, the policeman refused to believe him. And now, when he is actually you know uh, trying to argue with the policeman the as in when he's trying to you know defend himself the policeman actually takes him away all right earlier on the earlier occasions sopi actually wanted to get himself arrested to tabhi aisa kuch hua nahi okay even when he shouted as a drunkard the policeman ignored him even when he threw a stone at the shop and broke the glass the policeman refused to believe him but now when he was trying to bring a change in himself when he was trying to make a new beginning all right the policeman refused to believe him theek hai to kehta hai chalo kuch nahi to chalo mere sath jail mein and he is arrested later on when he is taken to the court okay the magistrate that is the judge all right usko punishment sunate hain and what is the punishment 3 months on the island all right three months on the island so that is what he had actually planned right usko three mahine zyada aisa kuch nahi tha usko kisi ka khoon nahi karna tha koi chori nahi karni thi bahut badi jisse ki use zyada as in he gets a bigger punishment no he didn't want that he just wanted to stay in the prison for three months to escape the winter all right so now see his dream has come true but at a wrong time all right that is what i told you in the beginning of the story there's an english saying that as in think before you ask for something you never know when your wish might come true so see his wish has come true right now when uh, soapy actually tried to change himself so this is what the story is students we need to take a lesson from the character of soapy all right there are a uh, kind of many important things that i have discussed as i was doing the story i want you all to read go through the video read the lesson all right underline whatever i have asked you to underline write the meanings of the words that i have given all right this will all help you to understand the story in a much much better way with this students i would like to stop here only uh next time i see you all with probably some other lesson or a topic from your textbook thank you